So then I woke up and it was like 1 a.m. And now I don't have the chance to sleep anymore. And I've been thinking about hence advice for so long and how I can really spread the message and leave an impact that's actually going to work. So in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to start drop shipping because it's something I've done for the last six years with insane profit margins and incredible results that I've also documented on my YouTube channel for years. So in this video, I'm going to break it all down for you. As you guys know, when I come on this channel, I genuinely have value to give and I'm not going to keep posting videos where I post like this just to get your attention. I don't care about that anymore. When I post, I want you to know that it's a video that I think has actual value and I have no plans of selling you anything. This is just for the people that want to learn. Let's get straight into it. There's no course link in the description. I just really think that this could help you. And now that I've said that, as I have no gain on making this video, do yourself a favor and sit down and listen because this video will transform your life if you take it serious. Probably going to be long, but it's going to teach you everything you need to know. So first of all, dropshipping is a scam. That's something we hear all the time. But do you know why we hear that? It's because people want to push something to sell their own course, which is another industry. Do not listen to these guys. They are saying everything to benefit themselves. Dropshipping is amazing and I have 40-50% net margins on the stores that I make. But you have to take a different approach. So the type of dropshipping that I do, which is also the strategy I use for my marketing agency, is we take products that do well in the US and we bring them over to Europe so we can have the biggest margin. We're not focusing on just competing with tons of people. We're trying to find our own audience, which is why dropshipping works. Dropshipping kind of is a scam, yeah, if you just do what everyone else is doing. So here we go. How to start dropshipping in 2023. So before you start, I'm going to break it all down for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to find a winning product. I'm going to show you how to set up the store, how it should be designed. We're going to talk about advertising. I'm going to show you tons of examples. You're going to have no excuse after watching this video. There's a few must know things. Make sure you have these things prepared. It's going to be a winning product. I'll show you live. I'll break down my product research strategy, what I look for and more. Then you want to have your Shopify store set up and you guys can get started with Shopify for $1. Someone I know is giving me a link. So I'll just put it in the description. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's going to give it a plan cheap. So I figured I'll just tell you guys. And then we're going to talk about how I find winning products. So there's a couple of criteria. I have. I like to sell products that's a little bit more low ticket. I'm not really a fan of selling products about 60, 70, 80 dollars. I just think it's unnecessarily hard. There's just no point of doing it when you can sell 20, 30, 40 dollar products for you know an insane volume, and you can also upsell, right? So somebody comes on your website expecting to pay 29 dollars and ends up checking out for let's say 50 dollars with tons of upsells installed. But I like to find products that I could sell for two to three x the price. If it's a one dollar product, of course, I want to 20 x it, sell, buy it for one, sell it for like 20. But if it's a 10 dollar product, I like to sell it for around 29 but in general 2 to 3x is a very good margin to be at so how do we find these products it's probably your question now so as you can see inside of here i just store tons of winning products but here is one of them i wanted to show you it's a little bit saturated but in this video i'm just giving you examples so don't take everything i say so literal the first thing i want to tell you is i think the days of selling problem solving products can be a little bit old i like to sell wow factor products right you have to understand that people buy what they want not what they need and if you don't want to do drop shipping but you're on an agency this is still insanely relevant for you people People buy based of impulses. They buy what they want, know what they need. That's why people buy pizzas for dinner. That's why I did it today. No, I don't really do much, but that's why people buy pizzas for dinner instead of fish. That's why so many people are overweight because they buy what they want, not what they need. Same thing with dropshipping, right? People buy based of impulses. That's why this video out here has 4.5 million views. So you want to sell those wow factor products. Check this out. It's an amazingly unique product. Look when he taps on it, it's going to look really cool. This is such a good creative, right? The thing you have to understand when you're dropshipping is you have to fit into the algorithm. You have to create unique content. It's not as easy as just running a basic product to a basic landing page that everyone has seen before. You have to get into the algorithm, especially if you run with TikTok ads. Now I'll just link my free TikTok ad tutorial in the description. If you work with TikTok ads, you have to understand how to get into the algorithm. The main point of dropshipping now is creating. It's not really so much about targeting and setting up that perfectly. It's about creating good content that fits into the algorithm. Even Facebook now is moving a little bit more towards like TikTok types of creatives. So what I did is I pulled up the store. I actually don't think it's too good of a store. They're selling the product for around $49. It has a black background, which usually just doesn't go well. It doesn't really fit so well with any themes. I do think it's decent, but I think beating this competitor is going to be pretty simple. I do think though that the black flows very well with it, but I still think it makes it a little bit complicated because it makes things like this red just pop out a little bit too much. It makes it hard to see the add to car button, etc. And I'll show you how to set up the store and everything. Just stay with me here. And then I found this product, which is for kids. It's really cool. I just want to show you like how good 
good video ads work and stuff what the marketing angle they take which is the most important like it's all about the approach you take with your marketing right you can run the most basic product ever but if you take a unique approach that nobody has seen before you can still win so i'll teach you all about that in a second i'll also show you a case study here and how we make like two three thousand dollars a day i'll show you that as well a little bit later on this video and for the people asking like henrik will you make more videos on sma and mindset yes i will i'm just want to i'm gonna do it if i take it more serious you guys leave comments there you tell me you want me to come back i'll do it okay but anyways here you guys can see it's more of a problem solving product but it's also very cool it's for kids a pretty good niche but kind of competitive so you guys can see they call it genian kids canyon kids i don't know what it's called but yeah it's basically about their posture i think it's more so could be marketed as a way for your kids to also get away from the ipad maybe like for reading but you can see a good creative has custom models and everything it doesn't look like just a chinese store but the main thing i wanted to show you is the product page is amazing right it's so well set up and the thing is you can do the exact same thing i'm going to teach you right now as you can see though they have a very good product page here is a more high ticket type of product if we go add to cart let's see if there's also any upsells it is right this is how they make more money from you right and maybe they will also upsell you on you know faster shipping things like that and guys i got a new camera i don't really know exactly where to look anyways here you can see kind of have a good description look it's typically like a paragraph and a picture and a paragraph and a picture or as you can see here it's more so towards you know the left side and right side with picture on one side text another one but you can also make it on one side i should show you an example that i got right here inside of my ad library check out this ad as well i'll just show you guys really quick i just really want you to get understanding because what i'm teaching you here is, is life-changing i'm not trying to sell you this uh, so if you listen to me you will actually be able to get really good results but let me just show you another example of how a good product page looks as well this store is selling like really cool products but you can find some of them on uh, on aliexpress actually but anyways let's just pull up a random one as you can see they just typically have the text on the right side then they have some pictures i think it's a pretty good vibe it's a pretty good setup the uh, description then they have some upsells here etc but now you're probably wondering henrik how can i do it and as you guys can see shopify is so simple i don't know much about web design but what i can do here and this is translated to german because what i like to do is i take pros in the us right i don't want to compete i just want to make cash i don't care if where i do it i use chat gpt to translate and stuff but i find pros that's doing well in the us right and i bring it over to europe that's how i get the results if i just were dropping in the US like everyone yeah maybe i will make it work in my experience but it's just very very hard right so i don't encourage you to do it but as you can see here you can just fill in everything right we have the picture set up here it's templates for you bro so it's just no excuse right we have the purchase button here i know you don't understand this i don't understand it that well either to be honest oh we actually got a translator right here but maybe it's not the most accurate translation but as you can see we got big add to car buttons we got the 60 day money back guarantee but essentially my job here is actually just to fill in these ones right i don't create the store it's incredibly simple but what you have to understand is how do i find winning products so let's break it down the best place to find winning products is the facebook news feed when you go in your newsfeed, right? Every third post you see is an ad, right? So if you're interested in gyms and working out, you're gonna get gym ads, right? That also means that if you're interested in dropshipping ads, e-commerce products, you're gonna get more of them. And once you find one, which could take some time if your feed is not optimized towards it, you'll be led straight into the next one. So all you need is to find one dropshipping product and you're gonna find the next one very, very fast. So when every third post is an ad, I can go on Facebook. So as you see on the left side, there's like all my collections of winning products I find. But one of the best ways to find products, and I don't recommend it to source from here, you can use commercial or something i'll make videos on this if you guys want to i don't recommend you to source from aliexpress but it's a very good place to get started you can just refund your first customers but if you want to find winning products that every supplier has just go on aliexpress and this section here is called more to love right and this is where i find most of the products it optimizes towards what you engage with so if you're good at researching you will find really good products but if you're bad at it you're going to be led down a very weird path so as you can see we're already finding tons of winning products this is a winner this is a winner this is a winner we just found three of them see how more we can find this one is kind of a unique wow factor this is a winner for sure this one this one so we just found like six winning pros very fast right but when you go in here you're gonna find a lot of random stuff because you've never been here so you have to optimize it right if you click on music products if you click on drumsticks you're gonna get music pros and electric guitars that also means if you click on good winning pros for drop shipping you're gonna get just that good winning pros for drop shipping but as you guys can see just some examples here this is a heated eyelash curler it used to be manual now we can do it here is a very trending product this one is cool it's a camera for kids but it's about your marketing angle right so i'm gonna pull up this one it's something that i was running with a guy that i'm teaching drop shipping and you know it's a kid's camera right but we took a unique marketing approach where we made it into a teenager camera where they capture their most awesome moments. Do you know what I mean by that? So it's a camera they use to, you know, take memories when they're traveling. It's just a super small camera, just like this one, right? You take the picture and it prints it out. It doesn't have to be a kid camera. It's about how can you be creative with the product and find your own approach. So if we run this product just towards kids, then yeah, it's probably going to fail. But running with this awesome marketing angle, running it to Sweden now in Europe, that's how we get like insane results with it. We are able to do well because we take our own approach to we're not so literal we don't look at it and say kids camera I'm okay i'm gonna do just what everyone else is doing no we make it into a cool party camera and that's why it works right so it's about how well you can like figure that out you just gotta unlock your brain you know what i mean 
This one I just show you because I think it's kind of unique. It's, it has the wow factor. I don't think it's a good product. I just think it's a good example, right? Wow factor products usually have a lot of color or like neon. You know what I mean? It's cool the impulse purchases. Then we have this one. It's sometimes cool for gamers, you know, or something to have on their desk. If you guys are gamers, you got to make sure you stop that. It's a bad habit. Anyways, you can still make money with people that's interested in gaming, I guess. You can have this on your on your desk. It's a cool product, I think. This one is cool. It's a game, you know, for summer. Um, basically, like the you roll the dice and then you remove one. So the guy that has, you know, the, the pieces left is the guy who loses, right? And then that guy, like, he doesn't challenge. I don't know what you guys make up for it. But this is also a good one. You can leave a note next to the bed of your girlfriend, right? So that when she goes to work, she sees, like, some cute stuff or something. And you have then left to go to work. Another good place to find products if you're, like, you know, into TikTok and you're more of, like, you know, younger demographic, which I recommend. It's insane right now for dropshipping. You can go over and search for TikTok. Maybe buy it up here. It's going to show you all the biggest trends, right? And tons of people that's running dropshipping stores. So you guys can see this guy's running this product. It, trust me, like, I really struggle with neck pain. So I can relate. I know it's dropshipping, though. But still, he runs a TikTok organic store, right? And a million views is, like, $1,000 to 5K. So this is, like, probably over 100, 200,000, maybe even 400. Who knows? Just based on my maths with it, I've done very good with it. But as you can see, he has a store for it. He just posts, like, his own content. I bet he stopped posting because he made so much money and just got comfortable. I'm going to be honest, because that's actually pretty insane. But as you guys can see, he has a store. So let's pull it up right here. I'm going to open up the link anyway, and then we're going to head into it. So it's not actually the best store, but it's pretty simple. It covers all the basics. It's like a decent vibe. Actually, now that I look at it, it's pretty good, to be honest. He has the reviews. That's very important. I recommend you guys to have reviews in our store, too. You can use, like, Luke's reviews or something. But he has reviews on it. Here is another guy who runs this mushroom. It's pretty cool, you know, once again, have on your desk or something like that. Check it out right here. Um, is he running to one country drop? Should we start? Yeah, he's running it to, to Denmark. So uh, that's very cool. No, maybe not. This is running to some country, right? The goal here is to take the product and run into an untapped country. That's why we're so successful. And that's what my agency does, right? So when I contact clients, which I don't really do, they contact me. I tell them, you want to expand your business. That's how you make the money. And then we take an e-commerce business. Let's say it pays me $3,000 a month. We take that e-commerce business from the US. We bring it over to Europe. And he sees that his margins go through the roof. And that's why I'm still able to maintain a very successful agency because, you know, the actual strategy is all about your offer. But as you guys can see, here is another uh, page. It's very bad. It's super technical. You don't want to have that. You just want to have like a cool vibe on your page. But I guess it's somewhat of a good example. But now let me show you. Actually, it's not as a bad one. <laughs> but the point is you go to take them in your body, you find all the trends as well. But now let me show you the four things that come into place when finding a winning product and making tons of money. All right, so what makes you rich with e-commerce? Well, it's first of all, the product. But you can't just have one without the other, right? You need to make sure you actually have like pretty much all of them. Perhaps you can make it work with three, but why not just have all of them? The product. A good ad will not sell a bad product. That's the first thing you have to understand. You can be as good as you want with advertising, but that's why you have a store that fails. That's why you have a client that fails because their offer is horrible. It's just the truth. Nobody want to buy some basic products, right? If you sell a phone charger or a smart wallet, nobody cares. Nobody want to buy that. Then the second, thing the marketing angle your approach right whether you want to target people that's into gaming or people that just want to have an awesome room people like to watch netflix i'm talking you know for like a wow factor type of product let's say that we want to sell these sunglasses right who do you want to target people that's interested in fashion people that has eye problems people that want to keep the sun away or people that's once again into fashion i don't know you guys know what i mean right it's about taking your unique approach and actually standing out then we have the creative the creative is everything on tiktok so especially like if that is your platform you want to understand the algorithm you want to understand how to create native content how to blend in just watch you know some tiktok maybe buy things and you're gonna know it then we have the audience right and this is very important the type of audience that you target so if you go with facebook for example you can target audiences you don't want to target the most competitive because you are just going to start running ten dollar a day ad sets i recommend you to have like seventy dollars a day when starting then if it works you can increase the price you're not going to spend 70 every day only when you have a product you like if it start working just increase the price but the audience is insanely important right the reason i am successful with dropshipping is mainly because of this factor right here the audiences that i choose i can have all of these in place but if i send it to some audience that don't relate or an audience that's super competitive it's not going to work right so the most important thing now is you find a winning product that you can sell for two to three x the price you set up a good shopify store and you start running the ads and you know how to get into the algorithms so you need to be a little creative if you're a little bit older you don't understand tiktok so well maybe you should do facebook if you feel like you understand tiktok you can do that but another thing you can do is you can actually drop ship for free it doesn't have to cost you a dollar so you guys can see all of these stores are drop shipping for free right and this guy's just filming videos of him massaging his neck and making hundreds of thousands you can trust me on that because he got 32 million views on this one and way more on these ones he doesn't have to spend money on ads but what he can do is he can just order a product from amazon for like five dollars start making content and sales is just gonna you know ring in all day and then he takes that profit 
and he puts it into ads. So this guy could just make this as a video ad. He didn't need a video ad. This went viral. He just uses this as his ad and he just pushes it, right? So if you don't have money, you can start with this strategy. It's called TikTok Organic. And then what you can do is you can take your profits and reinvest them. So now four products, I, you guys can just steal them. You want to get kickstarted. This one is good. This one I know is good. This one potentially, but it's about what you guys do with it. So I don't just want to like give you a product. I want to make sure you like actually study it and find something you think is good because I can't just find a way in a second. Like I'm pretty good at it, but, but that's too much, you know? Periodic table, it's like a very good product, I think, because it has a very passionate audience as well. So if you want to have something that solves a problem, impulse purchase are a very passionate audience, but ideally you sell products based of impulses. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to drag this out super much. It's just for the people that's interested in starting dropshipping. I think it's a valuable video. If you think so, you know, please click the like button and subscribe. I'm Henrik and on this channel, I'm posting whenever I feel like I have real value that can actually change your life. I'm thinking about coming out. Bruh. I'm thinking about coming back. If you guys want me to, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's how you guys start dropshipping. I have a full Facebook ad tutorial as well. It's going to help you, you know, with everything you need. It has over 130,000 views. So if you want to learn more, check that out. If you guys want, you can follow me on Instagram here. I post my daily life, the stuff that I do with my agency, with e-commerce. I also post some traveling and stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can follow me there. But yeah, hopefully you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.